Hi Leo, welcome to your Y reading for September 2019. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below, including the recommend a reader shout out, which goes to Deku Taro. Much love and support to her. Hopefully you get a chance to stop by, check her out, show her some love and support if you like what she has to say. This is intended to be a romantic, hello, love reading, but it may resonate in other areas of your life. All right, Leo, let's check out your why. Whatever your why is, hopefully this offers confirmation or clarification. <laughs> why for Leo. Oh, golly, two of cups. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're shut out of the gate. Okay. Death. Hierophant. Knight of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Six of Pentacles, Hanged Man. All right. All right, so you could be dealing with a Scorpio, Taurus, Taurus, Pisces. All right. Two, three, four, five. All right, ace, two, three, four, five. Oh, we got a, what is it, a full, no, a flush or a straight? We got a straight? Oh, ace, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> What's this death card about? What's this death card about? The sun, that could be Leo. Hmm. What's this hair fant about? And the strength card again could be Leo. Another thing, can we get a Knight of Wands? Let's get a trifecta here. Hair fant. Strength. Interesting. All right. This is somebody who wants to power through it. This is somebody that wants things to work out. It's this Knight of Pentacles. The world. This is someone that thinks it is worth it. They want to stay the course. What's this knight? Nine of Pentacles about. What's this nine of Pentacles? There's look, this is this person doesn't want to go anywhere. They don't want to this to break apart. They think that they're just there's something that they're just not understanding about this connection but whatever it is they want to figure it out they want to work with you they want to be on the same page they want to resolve this they want this to be whatever it is they want it to be a setback and that you two are just kind of transforming or there's a transformation going on as a couple they don't want it to be separate they don't want um you to go anywhere they don't want you to think that you need to walk away or they don't want you to walk away from this it's his six of pentacles Okay. Ten of Wands. What's this Ace of Cups? Four of Pentacles. What's this Hangman about? So this is someone that there's, there's great benefit to being with you and they see that. They also, um, it they feel like it might be Hmm. Hold on a minute. What's this uh, hangman about? Seven of wands. All right. So this, okay. <laughs> this is about you getting your just desserts or your what is due you in a relationship. This is about you being valued. I think this person is kind of coming late to that realization that, you know what, you need to appreciate the person you're with. Otherwise, there's going to be discontent and someone's going to be like, you know what, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. The issue here is someone was not giving um, and prioritizing and valuing the relationship. So I think that's why they don't want you to go anywhere because they realize they messed up and they're like, I'm sorry. I realized that I wasn't really valuing you. Will you please not go anywhere? Will you please let me stay and work this out with you? 
will you please stay and work this out with me? Give me another chance. And you're like, all right, fine. You've got, you know, we can, or if you haven't, basically what's showing here is that you're going to give them a chance to prove what they've said and walk the walk and talk the talk. It, it's They're pleading that they didn't understand, they didn't know, they didn't realize it was this bad or that you felt this way. And for their sake, I hope that that's true because this is probably the last chance you'll give them. Um, this was quite a blow to the relationship, but I think they really do want to make things up to you and to prove that they are... Um, you know, that they're sorry, they want to do the right thing, they want to, they want to show you. And your job is to stand your ground. Your job is to not get in there and fix it, not feel bad, not want everything to be a certain way so you, you kind of help them along and then push them out of the way and do it. <laughs> your job is to stand back and let them kind of, I hate to say struggle with it, but you, you are one heck of a partner um, as far as being right there beside someone working on things or doing whatever. And I think there's a tendency for people to take that generosity or take you for granted because it is kind of effortless for you and it is like a natural thing for you to get in there and do what needs to be done. The thing is, is that a lot of people end up, whether they realize it or not, even not intentionally, they can take that for granted because it's like, oh, we'll wait for so-and-so to do it because they do it better anyway. Or I might do it, but they'll come in and redo it anyway, things like that. So. This is all about you letting someone actually kind of struggle with um, coming up to where you are, or what you expect. And I think there's a tendency, like I said, to think that, oh, you know, the very person that's taking care of everybody doesn't need to be taken care of because they're so good at taking care of things. They take care of themselves along the way. That's not always true. So for you, Leo, your job is to sit back and watch and see if this person is able to, to provide for what you want or do the work alongside you, put in the value and the hard work that you have done and to see if you there is a match there, that you two can work side by side, that you two can rely on each other because they know that they can rely on you. I think there might be a question of if you can rely on them and you also feel taken for granted. So your job is to, um, to let it be out of your hands and to see if they can actually, if they if they actually make good on their promise. Not if they're perfect and they rise up, but if there's effort there. You know what I mean? Like if they really do mean it and they're trying. Because I don't think they want you to walk away, but they might be kind of naive and not realize all that you contribute. <laughs> so when they say, relax, I'll do it. Oh, I don't know if they know what they're saying. Um, but I, it, it looks like that they do want to prove to you that they're sorry and they didn't know and they, please forgive me, please give me another chance. But it's funny because it shows that um, you're the one that they kind of need to make things up to, not the other way around. Usually this is about, oh, Leo, you need to make something up to. No, this is about you being frustrated because of the amount of effort you put in that goes disregarded or unnoticed. So this is their time to shine and show you what they got because they don't want this ending. Right, what else for Leo? So these two came up. I felt like I should pull two of them, so I did. And we got the world and we got the five of pentacles. So again, with the whole, this being kind of in limbo and there's this, there's been a shift, a cycle change, an end to a cycle, but there's also a new beginning that could happen. There is this uh, desire for your person to work things out, but right now things feel kind of disconnected or like there's just, and it could be too that this is about money issues that someone's just, you know, for as hard as someone works, the other person spend it, spends it. And it's like, well, you know what? You need to slow your roll there. You're going to send us into the, you know, red here and you need to be more appreciative. So it kind of goes along with the being more appreciative of effort. But for some of you, it could, that could be money. That money is definitely an issue because somebody just really likes to kind of spend it as soon as it comes in. And it's like, you know, that has to stop that mindset also, that value set has to stop also. Anyway, um, so this is about things, whatever relationship you had before, that dynamic is done. And it looks like you're gonna be deciding based on someone's effort 
or seeing if they really mean it, what's going to happen next. Right now it feels like you two are on the same page or you're having to really pull back. Um, and you might be worried that this could be it, but it's not over yet. And it looks like your person really is intent on uh, proving to you that they want to make things right. That's for Leo. That's for Leo. Leo. So this, I went to pull this one and this one came out also. So this is Terra and Healing. So this is about needing um, both feet on the ground and you needing time and space. There, you put forth a lot of effort and energy here to keep things stable and you to, I hate to say afloat, but uh, just to keep all the trains leaving on time, that sort of thing. And you're kind of tired and worn out and there might have even been some pettiness initially because I think there's that kind of resistance or someone just being kind of, again, I hate to say unappreciative, but maybe they just don't know all that's going on. And it's like, you're kind of overlooking my input or effort here just because you have this area covered. There's a whole mess over here that's going unnoticed and this is starting to need some more work than I can give it. I really need you to help, you know, that sort of thing. Whatever. Anyway, um, looks like you're a little bit worn out and you're really wanting to take a breather and to just think and to let have to let go, not have to be so organized, responsible, accountable, all of that. And you're needing things to slow down and for things to be on solid ground. So whatever rift you felt, um, if you're still feeling it, it's about to shift just because your person really wants to make an effort and to show you that you know, all is not lost. We're not going to be set adrift because I expect you to do all the work or nothing. They might be like an albatross. <laughs> Those birds, God bless them, but they, they could clear about a runway's worth of land with the way they kind of come in for a landing. Walking and taking off is fine, but landing, oh my gosh. So point being, this person might carp flop, um, and not be that great at doing all that you have done. But I think it's going to be important for you to be able to see the effort that they put forward. That's going to mean a lot. All right. Your job is to find, honestly, it's to find your new normal too, what you will and won't do just because you need to not wear yourself out again. You need to not have to do so much work for the preservation of this relationship. It's not that it's bad. It's just that you kind of really like things being a certain way and you really want to help and contribute and all that. And when you see someone slipping or not doing something, you end up getting in there and taking over, which is very noble and admirable. It's just you can wear yourself out when you do that. <laughs> all right. What else could we do? But we've got, look at this, we've got the Two of Cups, we've got the Sun, Knight of Pentacles, Strength, Hair of Fan. This is someone that um, doesn't quite know yet, but wants to understand. They, because in order for this relationship to go to the next level, they need to. Because you're ready for it. You're ready for a certain level of devotion, interaction, commitment, all that. And it looks like they want to go there. They just, they kind of were clueless up until this point. What else for it, Leo? All right, so we've got Temperance and we've got the Seven of Pentacles reversed. So this is someone that, um, well, it's probably you wanting to take some time and not have to constantly be working and, and not wanting to have any regrets. Wanting to take some time to, again, heal for purposeful... Um, sort of reflection. You're not just isolating yourself. You're wanting to kind of have this withdrawal or this letting go and just stepping back, be purposeful because you need the time to ground yourself. And Seven of Pentacles reverse can be about having regrets, but it can also be needing to stop working and plodding along towards that long-term goal that might have gotten just a bit too darn heavy, that might just be too much anymore. And 
It's about setting down a load that could potentially become burdensome so that you don't have the regrets. So this is you pulling back, taking some time to get some balance, figuring out what your next move is going to be, what your new normal is going to look like, and letting your person step up. Unless you're like, nope, I'm out. I don't want them to fix it. I'm exhausted. I'm done. Bye. Either way, you're taking time needed for yourself for you to get grounded. If you do leave, your person will is uh, going to be pretty upset about that. They don't want it. They want a chance to be able to prove themselves. All right, Leo, I thank you for stopping by. I, I hope this works out for you. I think the intent is there. I, I really hope that your person is able to see it through. Um, either way, you're going to be taking some time to heal and just kind of get grounded again, focusing on self care. All right. I thank you for stopping by, Leo. I hope to see you in the next reading. Take care.